All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another Elite Self testimonial case study. We got Mr. Connor on the call with us today. What's up, Connor? Hey. Glad to have you here, man. Um, and thank you yeah. for taking the time again. Um, so first off, we're just going to ask Connor a few questions. He is a recent graduate of our level one program and is recently enrolled in our level two program. He's crushing it and he is he's doing awesome. So we're just going to get an understanding of kind of what his experience is like so far in the program, the challenges before the program, his wins since joining, uh, just so you guys can get an idea if you're in a similar situation as Connor. So first off, Mr. Connor, uh, just a little intro on yourself. It's like kind of who you are, what you do, maybe a fun fact or a hobby, something of that nature. Yeah, yeah. So uh, my name is Connor. I am a uh, the, I'm a chief instructor at a local martial arts school, and I uh, I've been in the martial arts business for nine years. I was a program director, and recently, within the last year, moved up to uh, chief instructor. Um, and I've just been, you know, uh, I've been uh, loving doing that. It's been, that's really fun. That's that one of my hobbies is obviously martial arts and. Uh, when I have free time on the weekends, uh, that what little free time I have, I, I, uh, play, I do play some video games when I can. Nice, man. That's awesome. And you recently graduated our entry-level program. Um, what were your main kind of challenges coming into the program? And maybe just like a, a brief backstory of, of like, kind of like how these challenges have, have been in your life, um, like, or like how long they've been in your life, what you were dealing with specifically what you've tried in the past and kind of that whole picture. Yeah. Um, so I've, uh, bef before I joined, uh, I was definitely not eating the right foods. I was eating too much, maybe even too little, but not of the right foods. I was not, um, getting any exercise whatsoever, except for martial arts training, but I had gotten so used to doing that. Like the muscle memory was there and, and it wasn't a, it didn't feel like a workout for me anymore. Um, and, you know, it was definitely like, I had a great metabolism up until I was like 22. And then when I turned like 22, 23, you know, I, I really started to, to gain the weight and it wasn't the healthy kind of weight you want to gain. It wasn't the muscle weight. It was, you know, it was fat. And I had concerns with my, uh, with my health, some, uh, the things that were coming up, like some chest pains or, um, you know, some shakiness from like low blood sugar. So I, you know, diabetes was kind of in the back of my head and, um, you know, also I was just really busy. Uh, I, I didn't make time for myself to focus on that kind of stuff. You know, I was really focused on my job or really focused on my friends and, you know, I didn't take that personal time, uh, beforehand or take time with my marriage, you know, just, just stuff like that. I was really just focused on everything else going on around me. So, uh, that, that's where I started at the, back in March. That's where I was. Yeah. Got it, man. Absolutely. And was there, was there a sort of like, uh, you know, breaking point for you where you're like, all right, I finally need to do this. Like I, I need help doing this. Or is it kind of like more of a gradual process? I kind of got, to um, that? you know, well, I had tried personal yeah. training. I, I had tried things before, um, I diet, different diet plans that kind of just left you to your own devices. There was no guidance. I mean, with the trainers I had, there was guidance there, but then they sent you home and that was it. There was nothing after that. And, um, so I had tried on and off for years. And then when I got the chief instructor position back in October, uh, it really just, uh, hit me that, you know, I need to be a good example to these kids. You know, I can't talk the talk, but then not walk the walk. It was, I, I felt like I was kind of living a lie. And finally, one day there was this, one of my instructors that I hired, uh, he's 14 years old and he, he's been with us since he was five and he's beating me at stuff, but he, he had been beating me at a lot of different things physically. And when that hit me, I was just like, you know, I'm the head instructor and he's the instructor, you know, so I, and I need to step on my game. And, and I also kind of looked at the long term too, not just with martial arts, but with myself, like I, I, you know, I'm, I'm 28. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really, really old and I'm, I'm at a very old age, uh, but I need to think about, you know, the longevity. I need to think about the long term. you know, is this pizza and this monster energy drink, you know, in front of me, are they going to, you know, keep me alive or are they just going to make me feel good for 10 minutes before I get extreme <laughs> acid reflux and then I crash because of the caffeine. So, 
you know, I had to balance. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Totally understand. And since uh, joining our, our, our level one program, what are the main wins, either mentally, physically, regards of your health? What have you been yeah. in so far? Uh, I've uh, found a, a, an enthusiasm for exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's like my biggest one. Beforehand, it was like, oh, I should wake up and I should go jogging or oh, I should wake up and I should maybe go get a gym membership. And then even when I had those things, I just... I didn't utilize them because it felt like a chore. Right. It felt like something I didn't need. Um, it felt like something I didn't want to do. And now, you know, with the, the variety of stuff that I'm doing um, and the guidance that I have consistently, it's, you know, I'm, I have lost fat. I've gained muscle. I've, um, you know, I feel and more energetic mm. um, and it's, it's really showing and it's showing. Like, that's the thing. Like beforehand, I was just worried about my health. I didn't care so much about the weight, right? but it's showing. But now because I've lost that weight, I realized that uh, I did want those things. I did want to look better. I did want to look more lean. I did want to look skinnier. I wanted to, you know, bulk up. And I just, that was just something I kept hitting down. I was kind of like ashamed to admit that admit I wanted that. So, and now I, I could talk about it as much as I want because it's happening. So <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and since and since making this development in yourself with your health, you know, your confidence, your energy, your body, losing the fat, gaining the muscle, what kind of positive ripple effects has that had for you in, in any area of, of your life? I mean, I have more time for things, you know, I'm not I'm going to bed earlier, I'm, I'm waking up earlier. Um, I have more time in my day, I have more energy at work, I can invest when I'm at work, you know, beforehand, I thought I was totally 100% invested in my job, like my, all my energy was going to my job. And that wasn't even the half of it. I didn't have energy to invest in my job. And now I have energy, I'm more energetic with the kids. Um, you know, the the school is is growing, which is phenomenal. Um, and then my home life, it's a lot better. My house is cleaner, because I've learned certain things like, hey, you can hire you can hire someone who loves to clean yes. to come clean your house. And so now I'm not feeling so cluttered and so, uh, you know, claustrophobic when mm. I walk into my house, it's clean, it's nice, it's, it's fresh. And, um, you know, I just, I, I really feel like I'm winning, mm. which is, you know, a big one. Massive. Absolutely, man. And yeah, you obviously crushed it in our entry level program. Um, it's really focused on the fundamentals, getting your healthy habits back, taking back control of your health and fitness, just getting that initial progress. And recently you reinvested in yourself into our 12 month level two program, all geared around becoming that next level version of yourself, not just, you know, settling for good, but, you know, pursuing great, really becoming your elite self. I'm curious, man, what was it that um, you know, made you decide to reinvest in yourself and, and continue this journey with us, but mainly just your own personal growth. I didn't want to stop, you know, uh, my pattern beforehand, you know, I, I'm, I'm not a quitter, you know, quitters never win and winners never quit. And I'm not a quitter. And so when I knew my level one was ending, I, I sat down and I really thought about it. And I was just like, you know, Am I going to fall back into an old habit once I'm done this? If I decide that I don't want to do this program anymore, am I going to fall back into a habit of just not doing anything, having no motivation, having no guidance anymore, you know, taking, uh, you know, uh, going back to eating all the crap and going back to uh, not exercising like I should be. And I didn't want to do it. And I'm having so much fun. And yeah. it's that. I didn't want to stop, you yeah. know, I, it, it actually like, it was a disappointment to me thinking about stopping. Oh, wow. so yeah. Yeah, absolutely, man. We're, we're super happy to have you, um, you know, based on your development in the first level program, the next 12 months are going to be insane for you, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so I'm excited. excited. <laughs> me too, man. And to finish off here, man, what would you say to somebody who is perhaps in your shoes before you started the program? Maybe you, uh, tried a bunch of different things in the past where the scopes of practice were just partial, like the personal trainers only focusing on fitness, not the holistic approach, the diet that didn't really last. You've tried different things. You've dealt with it for a long time and you're not sure like who to go to, or if you should invest in yourself, maybe you're hesitant. 
on, on starting this journey, what would you say to that person in, in that position, similar to what you were in? Yeah, I mean, you know, my my hesitations when I first started was just, you know, is is it going to be worth it? And, you know, the the cash value is not even close to the life value that I'm getting. And I, I just, you know, there's so much guidance. There's so much uh, patience. There's so much energy, like positive, very positive energy. And it's not just about working out or eating healthy. It's about making you the best version of yourself. So it's not about changing yourself. It's about taking the things that are already inside you and just bringing them out and making yourself a million times better, getting you to yeah. your potential. So they're, 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 if you are hesitating, they're, they're, you know, there's no worries. There's, there should be no hesitation. It's, it's, it's very, very much a doable, manageable thing. And if your excuse like mine was that you don't have time to do things, I can do these things at work. I can do these things. I can, I found out I have time. I, I make my own time. I make my own schedule and now I have the time. It's just, I needed someone to show me and to mm. see it. So. Awesome, man. Thank you so much for sharing that. And uh, again, thank you for your time today, brother. Really yeah. appreciate uh, you hopping on, man. I'm sure a lot of people are going to relate kind of with where you were and kind of your goals and, and what you've achieved so far. So appreciate you sharing that portion of your journey. And if you're watching this and maybe you're relating to, you know, where Connor started and where he's at now and how his mindset kind of shifted and, and just the progress he's created um, and you want to learn more or you want to apply, feel free to, you know, click the link in any of my bios or if you're on the website, click the apply button. It's risk-free. We just hop on a call and, and see if it's a good fit. So again, thank you, Connor. Thank you guys for yep. watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.